What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video. And as you can see behind me, the tank is in all blue and I only have one thing on. So I have the Reef Breeders Lumen Bar on, it's the blue UV hybrid. So what I wanna do is I wanna see what the par is and I'm gonna show you how it's actually able to angle this exactly how I wanted it. And it's kind of a little janky thing, but it works. So let's jump into this and par readings are definitely a must for this. So. I hope this might help you guys on the exact par readings that you can expect if you have this lumen bar. It's a 60 inch one, by the way. All right, so we know I was hanging it here and I was just letting it dangle straight down off this piece right there. Now I put on the little pivot joint thinking, eh, it's not really gonna work. But what I decided to do was I raised it just high enough where that pivot piece that you know you would kind of screw in is resting on my T5 hybrid fixture. Now this allows me to have just enough angle where it's like at a five, 10 degree angle. And when you come down, you can see it's hitting right over top of my SPS cores. It's, it's exactly where I want it to be at. You can kind of see it kind of tapers off down here. You don't get quite as much light. But I really wanted to hit this area so I could punch it with some extra par. All right, now I have my little Apogee SQ420X, gonna plug into the computer, take some par readings, and I'll take a picture and kind of just slap it on the screen, that way you guys can see exactly the par that I'm getting. I'm about, mm, what do you think, 10 inches off the water level? Yeah, about 10 inches off the water level, maybe a little bit more, maybe 11. But that should be a good, you know, reading. I think since it does have 90 degree optics, I'm expecting, let's do it, on my Walt Disney, let's say 75 par right there. So that is about 10 inches elevated and about eight inch water depth, maybe seven inch water depth. So let's see if I'm close on my readings. Let me throw it up on the screen and you will see how they this are. This video is interrupted to you by a toddler playing with Orbeez and getting them everywhere. Dana, are you having fun? Yeah. I gotta clean all this stuff up, it's everywhere. Bye. All right, so I'm really, really impressed with how well I was able to guess the actual par on um, the lumen bar. So I said it was gonna be about 75 par at that Walt Disney and it was dead on 75 par. I mean, I couldn't be happier. The main thing I wanna do was hit that high spot of my rock with tons of par. I did not want to spread it to the front. I didn't want to get another XR15 because I didn't want the spread going everywhere. This is one of those times where you need a specific light for a specific reason, and this lumen bar definitely delivered. Now I have 70, 75, 76, and 86 running along that top ridge. Obviously the 86 is very high um, because that scripts is near the top of the water column. But overall, I am very impressed, and I did not want a lot of light spilling to the front. So you can see where that um, frog spawn is. It's only 26 par, same with the dunk, and I only got 27 par because I was already pushing um, about, I think previously about 150, 180 with that. So I did not want to add any more par to that, which once I show the next clip and the picture, you're going to see that I achieved everything I wanted to. So I'm really, really lucky that I was able to research this and get a good deal from Scotty. So thank you, Scotty. This is exactly what I wanted. Now this next picture, I have my XR15 Blues. These are the Gen 5s and they're running the AB Plus at 70% intensity with my T5 Hybrid and the Lumen Bar. You can see I achieved exactly what I wanted to. Now the Duncan, like I said before, it's at 210. Super happy that I only added a little bit more par to the Duncan and to the Frog Spawn at 195. I'd be afraid that if I was pushing it more than, you know, in the 200 range, that it would just not be good. So I'm really glad I decided to go with the Lumen Bar as opposed to another Radeon. Now, with that being said, those SPS corals are in the perfect range. At 70% intensity with this Lumen Bar, now I've increased it to 327 par at peak intensity for the Walt Disney, 308 for the Cali Tort, and at 370 
with the scripts. I mean, what more could you want? I hit everything. And then you can kind of see to the right-hand side, my toadstool is at 150, and my hammer is at 150. So I'm not burning the hammer, and I'm not burning the leather. This is, I mean, everything I wanted. I'm super, super happy. All right, guys. So I'm really impressed with the Reef Breeders Lumen Bar. I got almost exactly the amount of par that I wanted. Maybe I'm like a BRS reef nerd and I just kind of analyze the lights and I can kind of give a best estimate on what the par was, but that's exactly what I was looking for for that par. Now it's a little late and the lumen bar's off, but I love how it's sitting up there now. You know, it's not ideal for me, but it works. So guys, if you're thinking about getting this Reef Breeders lumen bar, I mean, I think it's a buy. I mean, granted, you could get the AliExpress one and everything, but for 60 inch, they don't come in 60 inch, and I really wanted it to be the full length. I could have gone with two, like 30 inches, put them side or back to back, but that's just another cord, and I'm not about that life. Plus, I do want to support made in America stuff, even if it is a little bit more expensive. I do have my cheapo Chinese stuff right there, and I guess the whole tank is as well. But I'm pretty happy with my purchase, and I would recommend this for sure if you just kind of want that little bit of pop. But that's all I got for you this time, guys. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a comment below. Let me know how you like this video. And as always, I will see you next time.